Grinch when it comes to early Christmas stuff. You know, I'm the guy that like, you know, you don't play Christmas music before Thanksgiving. My wife starts around Halloween playing the Christmas music. So that's just me. But you know what? 2020 has been one of those years. We could use a little Christmas. And uh, in my house, we're celebrating Thanksgiving next week with the family. We're celebrating Christmas. I don't care what anybody says. That's what we're doing. I will be pleasantly defiant uh, unless I feel like God tells me, you know what, stay away from somebody, and then I absolutely will. I promise you that. Okay, but I, <laughs> we're gonna, I won't go there all day today, I promise. Um, there's a movie coming out in two days that you need to know about, especially if you like Hallmark movies, and especially if you like wholesome movies with godly values. There's a movie coming on that you can watch in two days, and I'm going to show you the trailer, and then we are going to talk to the people that started this whole thing that we call God Winks. Watch this, and we'll be right back live with Squire Rushnell and Louise Duarte. <music> I'm moving back. You know what I call that, huh? That's Godwick. You don't see it? Not until you just mentioned it. It was in front of my mom's house. I've been finding you everywhere. I just never expected you back. A Godwick Christmas. Second chance. First love. Only on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. All right. That movie you can see on Sunday, the 22nd of November. Squire and Louise... Welcome back to Life Today. So good to have you guys. Hi, Great Randy. Great to see you, Randy. Now, this whole Godwinks thing. Now, this is the, this is the third Godwinks movie on the Hallmark Channel. Um, but the whole Godwinks thing. And when you learn to see Godwinks, which is our job is to teach people how to see them and how to find them and how to be aware of them. When you start seeing Godwinks, you start seeing them more and hmm. more and more. And you realize that God is right there with you on speed dial most of the time. Mm -hmm. And that's a, it's a beautiful thing. And I, you know, I, I think Christmas time is a wonderful time to, to take notice of the God winks in our life, his presence. I mean, Emmanuel, God with us, is the whole entire message of Christmas. Mm. Uh, how did you get into, or how did Hallmark get into making God winks movies? Well, that was a God wink in itself. You know, we, um, we always loved Hallmark and we were very careful, Squire being in the network business for many, many years, you know, we thought about, do we take it to a network, ABC, NBC, CBS, mm -hmm. and then Squire, you know, as we prayed about it, we just felt like God was leading us someplace where it would be safe, where they wouldn't take the God Winks brand and make it, you know, tiddly winks or something <laughs> and take God out of it. And so, so we met Bill Abbott who at that time was the president of Hallmark. And we told him this idea that we had about Godwinks. And he said, gosh, this is like, this is perfect for our audience. And, you know, they had one called the heart, one calls the heart they have. And so there's, there's a huge Christian audience that listens to Hallmark and abuse Hallmark. So he just felt, well, let's, let's give it a try. We'll do one and see what happens. So we did the first one and the ratings went through the roof. And so then we got an order for the second one. And the second one, I think it was rated like one of the top 10 Hallmark movies of the century, on uh, IMDb. It was, the t it was one of the top 10. Uh, of, of, of 10 years, yeah. One of the top 10 movies of the decade. Of the decade, I didn't mean that. On, I, on, we on hope IMDb. century. I, I'm, good I'm good with century. I'm good with century. We'll just like elaborate a little bit. So what happened was, <laughs> Uh, then they gave us an order for the third one. So now it's a series. So we hope every Christmas, it, it's they're all God a God wink Christmas, but then there are subtitles. This one is called A Second Chance, First Love. And it's a beautiful story. Yeah. True stories, all true stories. Uh, okay, and see, I was going to ask you that. Are, are you just scripting these? But you know, they're true stories. What Where do the stories come from? Well, the stories all come from our books. These actually are two books. Uh, in which Godwink stories appear. In fact, the movie that is premiering this Sunday is uh, was originally in a Godwink effect. And then uh, the first two uh, Hallmark movies 
appeared in uh, Godwing Christmas stories. And um, this story that is, um, is on Sunday is about Patrick and Margie. And um, Margie and Patrick uh, were um, high school sweethearts. Actually, they, in real life, they, they fell in love in seventh grade. We, we aged that up a little bit in the movie to move things along. But uh, they were madly in love all through high school. And um, then as they, just before they graduated, Margie's family actually moved away. She went to another high school and she had a design on a business career and, and uh, he had been lured into a Tahiti band in Hawaii. And so they promised to stay in touch <laughs> But then, you know, life went on and they slipped away further and further. Fifteen years later, Margie and Patrick were separately saying, oh, I wish I had my first love back. But they thought that there was no hope for a second chance. But they had no idea that Godwinks were about to unfold. And one day they were both on the same highway and it was the day after Patrick had said to his mom, why didn't I marry Margie in the first place? And he was on a highway that he normally didn't drive on and he is stuck in traffic and he hears beep, beep. And he looks over and there is Margie out of hundreds of thousands of cars on the highway. He was right next to her and they pulled off at the next exit and they connected and and of course, a Hallmark movie always has to have certain uh, hoops that you jump through. There always is another guy, and uh, and and there's always a certain number of uh, factors that they have to go through. But this is a true story, and even though we put a few, uh, um, you know, license taking opportunities into the movie, the story is is really on a foundation of the true Godwinks and uh, and how it really happened. And the real Margie and Pat are madly in love. They live in uh, Seattle and uh, they can't wait for the movie to come on the air on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries on Sunday night at 10 o'clock. So you, you are taking real stories that sound like Hallmark movies and yeah. making them into Hallmark movies. <laughs> exactly. That's true. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Except that they are true. Yes. And at the end of each one of these Godwink movies, we have a little vignette. I do the voiceover. Where are they now? Yeah. And when we see the real Margie and Pat at the end, and we see shots of their pictures of their family and so forth, that's a reinforcement yeah. that what people just saw was a true story. Yeah. And if those God winks happened to them, they can happen to me. How do uh, how do the, those real people feel about their stories being told like that? That's got to be. Oh, cool. they love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, they love it, and uh, they and and you know they they can't when they when they actually hear their names, their real names on the screen. I think it freaks them out a little. Bit. <laughs> yeah. And, but it's so beautiful. The first movie that we did was actually based on Martha's Vineyard, where we live. And it was the Charlotte Inn, which is one of the most beautiful inns in America. And it's how Gary and Paula got to meet through an amazing Godwink, and they've been married many years. Well, they're dear friends of ours. As a matter of fact, they live like a stone's throw from our little cottage here in Martha's Vineyard. So we see them a lot. Well, they have been getting more calls since that movie of people saying, Hey, I, I saw the Charlotte Inn. I heard about your story and, and I, you know, I just want to stay there. So just a couple of weeks ago, there was a, 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 a guy who wanted to, um, he wanted to ask his girl to marry him. So she loved the movie, A Godwin Christmas. And so he said, well, I'm going to take you to the Charlotte Inn. She had no idea he was going to ask her. Everyone was involved in it. They're having dinner. And then he asked her to marry him. And it was just really sweet because, you know, we love romance. Listen, we're madly in love. Yeah. And, and we had an amazing Godwin story. We met over 40 years ago. Squire was vice president of children's television at ABC. He hired me and I was working for ABC and did a series for the network. And it wasn't until years later we met up again. I was doing a Broadway show and Squire uh, saw my name in the New York Times and he said to his son, oh, let's go see the show. She's, 
she's an old friend that I've known, you know, years ago. And when we connected again, it was, it was like the Holy Spirit was saying, this is what I've, I'm bringing you together. He gave us a second chance, just like he gave Marty and Pat a second chance. And he can give all of us a, ch a second chance. He's the God of second chance. And here's a wonderful God wink. We went to the Charlotte Inn on our honeymoon. Yes, we did. Had no idea that we were going to be able to movie. turn it into a movie. Yeah. <laughs> so you better watch out. Anyone who's having dinner with us tells us this story <laughs> could turn into a Hallmark movie. Yeah, it could be. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the website godwinks.com and you can check that out. You can see more about the movie and about the books. Uh, and so, you know, Squire, uh, Rushnell, and Louise Duarte are the power couple behind these. Uh, I'm curious because you just referenced Broadway and, and ABC. You guys obviously come from a very um, I hate the word secular, but it's not It's not like you've been making Christian sure. movies your whole life. You, right. no, you've been right. in the marketplace. Um, yeah. yeah. How, how, what's it been like being, working with so many people who either don't know Jesus or in some cases are actually hostile to the gospel well, and being yourselves because you guys are just beautiful examples of what God wants in our lives. Yeah. You don't well, hide it. I'll let Louise answer for herself in a moment. But when I was at ABC as an executive for 20 years, uh, I was a loner in that um, I, I was a conservative and I was a believer. Now, I didn't wear it on my sleeve necessarily, but I did notice that people would often, when I was in a meeting with ladies and, and men and uh, somebody would uh, say a swear word, they'd usually look at me and say, excuse me, Squire. They wouldn't say excuse me to the ladies. And so I had That's a funny. feeling that maybe something was going on there, you know? But um, but after um, uh, we became independent uh, producers and, uh, and Louise and I were married and we started working with the churches and, um, and Louise was doing a show called Living the Life, which led into the 700 Club. And she did that show with Terry Mewson for eight years. And so that led us into the world of the churches. And then, of course, we wrote a couple of books about partnered prayer, the power of praying together mm -hmm. and, and uh, the 40 day prayer challenge, praying five minutes a day for 40 days and amazing things happen. So that led us into um, meeting a lot of wonderful people in the ministry world, including you, Randy, your dad, and, and then all the other great mega churches that are around the country. And we have been able to kind of slide back and forth between that secular world and the spiritual faithful world um, pretty easily. Um, I did the Today Show for five years um, with Godwinks and uh, and you you had said it was like going behind enemy lines. That, that really was. I was always walking on thin ice. Yeah. And uh, because I was talking about that three letter G-O-D word that they 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 uh, they go catatonic with mm -hmm. with that word. And uh, in fact, they turned me down for eight years because they hated the title of my book. It had God winks mm -hmm. in it. But um, God has just been wonderful. He has uh, really opened doors for us, divinely aligned us with the right people at the right time. And when you are divinely aligned and you, would, you meet somebody at the right place at the right time, usually when those paths cross, that's when a God wink happens. Yes. And so we, we all have amazing God winks that come, around, come about through God winks. Mm -hmm. Either people get their first job because they just happen to be at the right place at the right time. If they'd gotten there five minutes sooner, they would have missed the guy or the girl, or they would have uh, maybe met the girl they were going to marry if they mm -hmm. hadn't been there, you know, on that time if, uh, and so forth. So God winks happen to everybody. And um, we're just delighted to be missionaries of, uh, of God's mm -hmm. message. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I believe that God placed us in the secular world so we could learn because it, it is to be able to be in both worlds is very rare. We, we understand that. 
but he's given us the knowledge to know how they think and the knowledge to know how the Christian world thinks. So how do you now draw them together? So God has always kept us, as we call ourselves, the shallow people. <laughs> Matter of fact, it was Jim Reeves, who's a wonderful pastor in West Covina, California. He said, gosh, you guys are just so shallow. You know, and he said, I, I mean that in a good way. I mean that, you know, you bring, <laughs> you bring him into the shallow end and wow. we as pastors, bring them into the deep end. And so we know and, we're- and we should, Just hold that thought. We said high five and we said, absolutely. Yes. Yes. Well, here's a lady who does funny voices for a living and I brought you schoolhouse rock. <laughs> we are shallow yeah. end people. Yeah. Yeah. Not, yes, yes. No, shallow end people, not shallow people, shallow right. end people. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Just, but, but he's right because what the Lord has, you know, God gives all of us our job for God. And we never saw ourselves as preachers or, you know, in a pulpit uh, giving a sermon. We believe you can see God in these God wings. And so if we can open up people's eyes to just see that, and I cannot tell you, Randy, how many emails we get from people who said, you know, I, I, I had lost my faith. And, and then I saw the movie, I read the book and about God wings. And I thought, well, maybe God... God is looking out for us and they realize that we are on a GPS, God's positioning system. And really God wings is, 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 it's really Psalm three, six and all your ways, acknowledge me and I will direct your steps and, or your path. And so if you acknowledge God and say, God, I know that, that I am on your GPS. I know that you care about every breath that I take every tear that I shed, then God, show me, show me yourself, show, show how you would do this for me. He wants so much to give each one of us God wings. And I have to tell you, when I, we, it, we ask people, we say, write down, ask God for God wings, because it really is like a gift left on your doorstep. Mm -hmm. You have to open your door and open your gift. You can't, mm -hmm. you can't just say, oh, well, they're going to have, you ask God for them. And then and then write on in a journal or on the refrigerator for a every time you get a God wink, write it down. And I guarantee you, you will see after two weeks, a month, you'll see, oh my goodness, you know, there, there were threads that connected me here and there to create this tapestry that God has for me that I hadn't seen before. So it builds our, they're faith builders. God wings are faith builders. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Let me, let me ask you the tough question because I know you're not shallow <laughs> and I know you've heard this before, but you know, winks are subtle. Mm -hmm. Why do you think God doesn't just shout at us? Yeah, ah. yeah that's such yeah. a great question. Yeah. Well, I think, I think uh, there are so many things that God does that makes us stretch uh, mm -hmm. in order to learn something because yeah. of it. Um, he, he, he can help us along as a mm -hmm. child, but we have to learn to walk on our own. Right. And we have to, you know, he could give us a degree sure. and we wouldn't have to go to college mm -hmm. and we'd just be smart. Mm -hmm. But he makes us go through the hoops and yeah. to do the work and he needs to test us. Yeah. He needs to put us through the fire. That's right. He needs to put us through the trials. It's the refining. Mm -hmm. And and he says, seek me and you'll find me. It's, but we have to seek him. And, you mm -hmm. know, it, and he wants us to press toward the mark of that higher calling. And, yeah. and that's drawing closer to where he is. But pressing toward the mark isn't just, you know, sitting on the sidelines, waiting for things to happen. It's, it's pressing is not mm -hmm. always the easiest thing to do, but he always wants us to press forward. He wants, he, because when what we give to him, he gives back tenfold, but we have got to seek him. That's what he wants more than anything is he wants to communicate with us. We talk about how you can't sit by the edge of the highway on your baggage, waiting for your destiny to come to you. That what you really need to do is to get off your baggage, mm -hmm. get on the highway, and head for what you believe to be yeah. your destiny. And all of those signposts yeah. that are always along every highway, mm -hmm. they don't tell you where to go. They just are reassurances that you are on the 
right path to where you think you're going, mm -hmm. where you want to go. And that's what God winks are. They're little signposts yeah. along yeah. our way as messages of reassurance. And oftentimes people say, how do I get more God yes. winks? Well, we talk about it in the context of God winks are God's way of communicating to us in a supernatural way, mm -hmm. in, a, in a non human voice way. They're just amazing um, things that happen that are usually accompanied by the word wow. Mm -hmm. And usually we say, What are the mathematical odds of this and that happening? Then you know that God had something to do with it. Yeah. But when somebody says to us, How do I get more God winks? We say, He's communicating with you the more you communicate with him. So if you want more God winks, pray more. In fact, there was a, uh, a wonderful um, evangelist in uh, 1650, Sir William Temple, who wrote, when I pray, coincidences happen. When I don't, they don't. Uh -huh. Now, we can't blame him for not using that proper word of God winks. <laughs> wasn't quite in the dictionary yet but that releases god's blessings you know people i only wish people really understood the power of prayer and like we said we wrote many books and and as much as we love doing the god wink movies our passion what god has placed in our heart is to get people to pray together yeah. i mean we've even yeah. gone to washington dc and spoke in front of some senators and congressmen and ask them to pray across the aisle. And so, so a Democrat and Republican actually started doing that. And I said, what we couldn't come together in policy, we realized we could come together in prayer. And, and that is how our country and our world will change is one prayer at a time. You know, we're, we're so caught up in our own different religions and ideologies. And if we would just humble ourselves before God and love one another as God tells us. I mean, it is incredible how we can change our country because there's so much division right now. We really need to come together and it's all through prayer. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I wanna hit something before I let you go um, because I know people right now are like, oh, look at these, look at this beautiful couple. They've got the world at their hands and everything's perfect in their lives. 2020, not so much. Um, <laughs> you guys, you know, uh, in some ways, fortunate to still be here. Tell tell yeah. the audience about your COVID yeah. battle. Yeah, we both got COVID. Well, we do everything together. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we both got COVID, and and it was a, uh, you know, it was a it was a challenging time. And I actually ended up in the hospital. I was having trouble breathing. I and I couldn't stop coughing and Squire couldn't stop sleeping. <laughs> and we we were going we were going through some tough time, but I have to tell you, God was so good because I mean we are you know madly in love and we do everything together, but there were days when I was feeling better so I could help Squire, and then there were days when I would feel bad and he could help me, so God knew that. But what it we just started praying against it. When we would get really bad, right, Squire? Mm -hmm. We would, because it, I have to be honest with you, Randy, it was a real spiritual battle. I felt mm -hmm. it was, a, I feel this whole COVID thing is a very spiritual, you oh, know. Very weird. Very almost. weird. It yeah. felt man made. It really. did. Yeah, I had to know, how do you know that? It yeah. just felt different it than just a flu. Was different. Yeah. It was something that, that we felt was a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. And we would just come against it and come against it and come against it. And finally, through a friend, we did get a therapy that if I mention it, you may be thrown off the air. Hydroxychloroquine, Hydroxychloroquine. you better not mention it. Yeah. It was gone in 24 hours. Uh, in 24 hours, oh. Randy, because yeah. we had had it for 15 days and finally yeah. someone had got this for us. And, you know, we know it's very political and controversial and all that stuff, but we had done a lot of research on it and we'd gone to frontline doctors and seen all the evidence and, and we knew that it had been around for 65 years. We took it at about four o'clock the day we got about four o'clock that afternoon and the next morning we were 90 percent back to normal it was and we have talked to many people who have taken it and it's the same reaction it's just it's just incredible and i 
I don't know why they don't release it to the public. I really yeah. don't. Yeah. But anyway, this uh, uh, this weekend would be a good time to shelter in place. <laughs> yeah. uh, whether you have uh, COVID or not. <laughs> and because this is God Wink weekend. That's and right. Hallmark, you That's know? right. All three of our movies are going to be playing at one time or another. Okay. And of course, the premiere is uh is playing on uh, on at uh, 10 p.m eastern and a uh, time on uh, sunday night and leading into that is god wink number two yeah and okay. then god wink number one is on the schedule at some time too so it's like a course in god winks yeah, yeah. god winks 101 you'll you'll learn more about god winks as you watch these movies but i have to tell you real quickly that something started in the first movie where they would have god wink parties yeah. and they would get these little little bells the little christmas bells and people would be watching it you know in a group and every time they'd see a god wink they'd ring <laughs> the bell so oh, it's now it's caught on well it's, it's like all over the country and now of course they have to do it virtually so you know when someone's watching the god wink movie you see the god wink because there are many god wings in this particular film you just ring the little bell yeah you guys, that's too funny. Now, it, 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 help me out because I, I don't know the answer to this. When, I, when we look at this and it's on uh, Hallmark Movies, Movies and, Mysteries, and Mysteries, is that a separate channel than it Hallmark is. Channel? Yeah. It yeah. is. They actually have three channels. Yeah. It's the Hallmark Channel, which is uh, all love stories. And then Hallmark Movies and Mysteries uh, is also love stories. A little but more drama. A little more drama. Yeah. Okay. And so they felt that we were a little more dramatic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, and yeah. then uh, and my, the and mysterious ones. with these God winks. Where are they yeah, coming exactly. from? Yeah, exactly. Yes, that's, that's right. true. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. It's a, it is a mystery. It's yeah. God's many mysteries. Yeah. yeah. Well, Squire and Louise, I sure appreciate everything you guys have done. Um, and and I'm thrilled that the God winks is touching people, and you're having success in a creative format that that is what you guys were made for. Uh, I'm just curious as as we exit today, and and people are watching this, you're you're, you're really providing um, something that makes people feel good about themselves, about their their country, um, and about God most of all. Mm -hmm. I'm just what, what what would you what do you think this country really needs to hear, and, and not just in the U.S. but around the world during such a year of not just political turmoil, but the, you know, the virus, uncertainty. Mm -hmm. People have just been through they the have. ringer this year, and, and I hear just a message of hope coming from you guys, so I just wanna, I wanna give you a quick minute to yeah. just say what's on your heart that you think people yeah. need to Well, I, th I think that word that you just mentioned is one of the, the worst words in our language uh, when it happens to us, uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Will I have enough money to make it this mm -hmm. this month to pay yeah. all the bills? Will my children be safe when they yeah. travel for the Thanksgiving holiday? Will I be able to keep my job? You know, all of yeah. those questions are all uh, utterances of uncertainty. Mm -hmm. The stock market hates uncertainty. Yes. Mm -hmm. And God winks and the connection to God, a, a tangible, Connection to God. That's what God winks are. Mm. You are you. You pray to uh, an invisible God, but when you get a God wink, it is a connection that is mm. concrete. It's tangible. You know He's in yeah. your life, and so that takes away a lot of that uncertainty and turns it into certainty. certainty. You know, I I always love Dr. Charles Stanley. He, he's such a great wonderful man and we, we we know him personally he's a friend and i just love him so much and one of my favorite quotes of his is fight all your battles on your knees because you know perfect love casts out all fear we're all fearful i mean even as christians you know our lives aren't perfect and, and as you said randy you know we had covid but believe me mm -hmm. last year I, don't, I won't even go into it but we had other things that happened to life isn't perfect for any of us you know mm -hmm. and and no someone's lying if they say oh my life is perfect and everything's mm -hmm. great but god is with us you know we we walk through the valley we don't stay in the valley so if we know that just just know that god's going to take us to the other side and we'll be safe but we have to make sure that we put him first. He's our comforter. He's the peacemaker. He's the prince of peace. And right now people, they're looking for peace. And I believe he allows things to happen, Randy, 
all of this. He knew, he knew, mm -hmm. but what it does is it brings us to a closer relationship with him. I know through all this COVID thing, it brought us closer to God. Sure. And that's mm -hmm. really the most important thing we yeah. can do is draw closer to him. Amen, amen. Squire Russell and Louise Duart, thank you so much for everything that you do. Thanks, Randy. You, Randy. And thank you for being here with us on Life Today Live. And thank all you guys watching. And this is your weekend. You kick off Christmas a little early. I give you permission before Thanksgiving. Catch up on all the Godwinks movies on the Hallmark channels, the multiple channels. Just yep. check your guide, figure out where it is. Or you can go to godwinks.com and get information about the books and the movie. And you can kick off this season just right. We'll see you again next time here on Life Bye -bye. Today Live. All right, Regis.